Shalom brothers and sisters and welcome to another video Brother Jedaniah Brothers and sisters As the Heavenly Father has been purging me out over the last few years I hope that he's been purging you out as well And the purging process is the cleaning out of your mind and your soul and the washing of it brothers and sisters and sometimes we need to shut down for a while t in order for that process to take place in order that you may focus on deeply rooted things that are in you that you don't need, you're not even aware of at all and s sometimes he, he has to do these things you know so if you are in need of a purge, of a shutdown for a time so that he may dig in for a time and help root out something that's rooted, seeded in deeply. Pray to him. Pray to him and fast about this and, and see if that's something that you may need to do because in these last days, the love of many has waxed cold indeed, brothers and sisters, and there's some people that just cannot love at all they just can't but I'm making this particular video to talk about the things that's going on in this world and one such thing is the food shortages which we see creeping upon us don't be afraid brothers and sisters if you don't have the money to stock up just a little bit uh, Keep your trust in the Most High during this period of time. We do foresee that uh, things are going to get worse and worse and not better and better. Now, I have never advocated to prepping for the end times, but I've always said prepare for emergencies, though. If you're going to prep, prep for emergencies or, or just start living a whole new life self-sustainable lifestyle where you are um, storing up foods and canning and jarring like they did it back in the days even for winter you know they used to do these things and they had food for the winter and until the harvest in the spring so uh, and they always you know had communities where there were cattle and sheep and and other livestock close by and they traded and bartered and they did all these things back in the day and they wasn't backed into a corner with just money like we are today and they wasn't even backed in a corner in their households with electricity they had options you know you know that they that they had options with wood candles oil you know for light there was options available there was well water there was rain water there was river water there was lakes you know they had options back then and they they lived according to these options that that, that left them more self-sustainable at home than what we have today. Where we're left at the mercy of companies. Companies to, to bring food to the grocery stores. Companies to provide water. Uh, to pump water to our houses. All for a price, of course. And we're left with companies to provide energy to us. For all of our appliances to work. Without the energy, how can we cook? So they even been taking away the option of gas. You know, we still have gas here in in um in the south where and I know that there's probably gas in most other places as well, but they've been trying to take that away little by little, where gas was supplied to um to heat your water to cook your food on the stove and um, to heat your gas heater 
and everything else ran off of electricity and you still had options of candles you know when the lights go off but nowadays you would get fined and stuff if you don't have electricity running to your house and you're only going on candle uh, you would get fined unless you're in a remote area where none of that is provided and they have permitted you to have like an outhouse candles burning wood stove you know and getting your water from the ground and from a creek or something those options were the best options you know they they, they talk about the third world as if it's so bad and so behind and primitive when they gonna be the ones that survive when it all hit the fan they going to be the ones that survive over all of us because they already live in that lifestyle already. There's nothing going to change for them. They already growing food around them. They got food. They know where food at in the forest. They can go hunting. They can go fishing. They can provide heat for their homes with wood and, and, uh, They'll have food, water, shelter, clothing. They know how to make their own clothes. Y'all see how things are starting to revert right back to that. Now that this pampered lifestyle of, of ours. In what they call the first world. Is uh, coming to an end. Or at least it's just a, a plateau. With the. The final B system, brothers and sisters. So, I I'm, I'm just wanted to uh, come on here and talk a little bit about some of the things that that's going on. That some of you may prepare your minds more than anything for what you about to see happen here. So, we know that the food shortages are coming people are starting to wake up but there's a lot of people not waking up expecting things to go right back to normal they thinking that this system is gonna come right back online and and the the worldwide system is gonna start turning again like it was with the ships coming in and bringing food so much food from different company countries and no that's winding down it's winding down because these people at the very top know that Hashatan has a short time and it's time and the Most High is allowing them the Smith to blow up the coals. He's allowing him to blow hotter, to make things hotter on the earth, make things uh, more scarce, more scary. You know, you're going to see a lot more shootings, a lot more deaths, a lot more suicides, a lot more hopelessness, a lot more um, backstabbing, a lot more two-facing. You're going to even see bruise turning on bruise, awaken people, awaken Gentiles and awaken bruise turning on one another as well. You're going to see all this. It's already happening, but you're going to see more of it brothers and sisters you're going to see more people turning on the most high you're going to see a whole lot brothers and sisters so prepare your hearts minds and souls for what you're about to see and let the most high enter your heart hear his voice and let him lead and guide you during this time because at this time uh, I don't care what you store up if the Most High is not backing you on this, and He's not with you in your household, uh, you're gonna lose all that. If He's not with you, there's people trusting and having faith more in their food and and guns and weapons and stores and stocks than they are the Most High. They're not mentally prepared with their faith to put their faith on the line with the Most High and trust Him. Brothers and sisters, 
I know some of you don't have money to to start stocking up a little bit. I'm not telling you to stock up for three and a half years or seven years or however the whatever the month the most I say stock up because he may just have you stop up for a little bit and then leave and go somewhere else. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because one day the city's not going to be safe, a safe place to be. And you're going to need the most high to lead and guide you out of it to somewhere. Why all the chaos erupt all around you. While people are walking around shooting each other and killing each other, you know, for food, for water, for shelter, for clothing. You're going to see the vileness of man return even more than we see it right now. You're going to see the hatred. You're going to see the non-caring, the non-emotion, the non-empathy. we already seen empathy disappear from many of the brothers and sisters all around us who don't care about life at all. They will kill you in a hot second if you don't have the most high with you. You will get caught up. And I've said this in times past. There are evil spirits all around us. They communicate with each other. They communicate with those that don't belong to the Most High. That belong to the enemy of our soul. And when these people get a whisper in their ear. That somebody's over there. And got a bunker. up Right behind this wall over here. You're going to make a mistake and you're going to make a cough or a little drop or a little sound of some sort. You might even cut one loose and alert them <laughs> to your presence. And one of them going to be like, something's behind this wall. I heard something. Next thing you know, they're going to be digging down that wall. And, and then they're going to discover you, your family. You may come out blasting and blazing, but you're stuck in an enclosure. If they break in somehow, they can gas you out, wait you out, talk you out. Then what's going to happen to you and your family that's in that hole? I'm not saying it's hopeless, brothers and sisters. I'm saying that your trust and faith need to be in the most high more than ever right now. Because you may be led away from where you stay right now with a backpack on. And you may be out there somewhere living, finding whatever you can find. And the, and the Most High may lead you to where uh, food is, water is, shelter is. Some of you are maybe destined to be caught and and uh, go to prison for a while. You may have to die in there in a camp. It might be what he has planned for you. To test and try you. Some of you may make it. Some of you may fall. And take that mark. That's going to be presented to you. For your life. And if your soul is not prepared. You may be the ones that take it. When you're faced with that. When you're faced with starvation. When you're faced with no water. When you're faced with. Joining society again. And not having it so hard and being on the run. You may convince yourself that this ain't it. And I am I, I got to eat. I got to live. I got to. And next thing you know, you're taking over. And you, your soul is gone. You got to be prepared, brothers and sisters, mentally. Let's talk about a little bit more stuff that's going on in the world besides food shortages. 
Now, brothers and sisters, um, I started a different channel for specifically for waking people up to these different things that's happening called Be Wake, Be Aware. The link is in the description box. I put my first video up titled The Secret Covenant. I don't know if y'all saw that yet, but uh, I got more videos like that to post on that particular channel. So I'm trying to grow that particular channel, brothers and sisters. So if you would like, please uh, check out the link in the description box below. Be awake, be aware. All right. Anyway, other things that's happening is we see the gas prices going up. Real soon, nobody's going to be able to afford gas. Do you have a bicycle? Do you have an electric motor on that bicycle? Do you have a way to charge your electric motor, brothers and sisters? Do you have a scooter? You might want to think about investing in a scooter or a small motorcycle with a one to two gallon gas tank on it where you can get uh, 40 feet the 50 miles per gallon on that particular device to get back and forth to work without spending a fortune on gas. $10 would put two gallons in that tank and you'll get a hundred miles. So depending on how far you're driving to work, that will at least get you to and from work for the week. And you only spend about $10 a week. And if it rains, then yes, you have to wear a rain suit. This is going to become a any means necessary type of situation, brothers and sisters. If you know how to convert or you have the money to make one of those devices for a, ga a, a water generator at home. Check out some of those videos where... There are people making devices that separate the oxygen from the hydrogen and water. And they're running the gas, I mean, uh, yeah, the gas generators on hydrogen with water. If you have the money to do that, invest in that. At least you have some form of electricity or heat in your home when blackouts come in the winter. It's time to prepare old school style. You can even have one of these devices set up to heat up some stones inside of your house with a fan that would um, not blow directly on it, but just blow the heat out of that room into the other rooms. Prepare. For these things to come, brothers and sisters, you want to be prepared for all situations. If, if the lights go out, you have to ask yourself these questions. How, how am I going to heat my home? If this happens, how am I going to keep the food from spoiling? Do you know ancient old methods of drying out your food? You know, they make that jerky out of um some of the meat and oh and uh even right here where i stay they dry out fish there's a way to dry out fish and it will last you for a while you can start canning and jarring your even your fish that lasts up to a year and uh certain foods you can can if you can it the right way jar it the right way it will last you three years three some even 10 years, depend on um, which method, you know, you freeze dry it or whichever method um, you choose. Now, there are other things um, that we see diesel prices then skyrocketed as well. And many companies are going out of business for the lack of um, work that is out there and the high gas prices. 
and they just can't handle the overhead. They can't handle the, the, the notes, the truck notes and the insurance and the gas prices and everything that, that's, that goes around to operating these trucking companies. And y'all know the trucking companies are the life blood of America survival as a superpower pretty much and it's highways so we see diesel prices and, and also the farmers out there the farmers are starting to find it hard to find things that they need to farm you know to, to prep their farms with a lot of them not finding what they need to prep their farms fully and then the gas the diesel is high for their operating equipment and they the seed prices are going up and everything is coming to a head they're not they're not finding money for loans and where where is the government and the billions of dollars that they need to put into the farming industry instead of sending it to ukraine they're, they 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 they're just they want this to happen y'all see y'all see it they want this to happen they're a part of this new world order they're trying to build and they know America has to come down. So they're making it seem like they're nincompoops and they're, they're incompetent. No, they know exactly what they're doing. They're not incompetent. Biden is an incompetent. He does all that stuff to make you think he's incompetent, but he knows exactly what he's doing for his, for his master. And so you're going to see the farms go down by next year. That's why this year is a critical time if, for you to start growing food at your own house. And we got warnings from farmers telling us that it's going to get bad between now and next year. And people are going to start starving to death and they're going to start looting. They're going to start shooting to kill, to get your food for themselves and their group or their families because they're not going to be prepared. So, yeah, you're going to have to really have the most high in your life, brothers and sisters. We see processing plants burning all over the place. 100 processing plants just catch on fire. This is not coincidence, brothers and sisters. Look up those reports of these food processing plants catching on fire. Now, you know, they got something called DEW. Direct energy weapons. And, you know, they this thing been causing fires and uh, all over the world. This new thing that they think is secret and they want to try to keep secret. So that's something else that they're doing with these. Um, uh, as Deborah Tavares says, quiet weapons for quiet wars. They use microwave weapons. They use frequency weapons they use uh radio uh radio frequency weapons on us psychological programming through the television let's see what else do i see going on the monkey pox is out now and there are people saying that the only way you catch that is through uh fluid transfer fluid contact brothers and sisters but they're going to make it into something that is airborne and and people are supposed to get this monkey pox and that's might be the next thing that they try brothers and sisters so look out for that and do your research on that go to bit shoot as well check out my bit shoot channel in the description box below subscribe to that bit shoot and check out my three playlists on those particular videos all right we got iran with the digital id for food rations y'all it's a digital id they are requiring for food rations and iran come on y'all y'all know what's coming next they're gonna have food rations here they're gonna require you to have some digital id and then you know what's coming next when when the next world pandemic hit 
you're going to be required to enter back society and to get your food rations to have something in your hand or in your forehead to get back to work, to have your universal income to pay for your, for your housing and whatever else that universal income will cover. Oh yeah, they got it covered, y'all. This digital currency that's out that they can make money out of thin air. You think they, they won't, they don't have this coming digital, uh, digital money for all. Think about that. All they got to do is add numbers to a, to a bank account every month. It doesn't even have to have anything back in it. As long as you're accepting it, they can use that as a form of currency. Just think about that. They give you two or three thousand dollars a month universal income. How many people are going to jump on that in a time of crisis, in a time when they need to get their food rations? Or to just pay for their everything that they have put gas in their cars to get around to rejoin society the new world order is coming it's already prepped and prepared the the prison camps have been built everywhere they're ready to come get you lock you up if you don't join their society, if you don't put this mark in your hand or your forehead, you cannot get your rations, your food rations, you cannot use the internet, you cannot uh, get the things that you need to survive. You can't rejoin society. And the moment that you take this, guess what's going to happen? You're going to forfeit your soul to Hashatan, and these devils and demons going to be able to jump in you at will. And you will be inhabited by them fully. <laughs> it's going to be you and them. And we find that some of the actors that's at certain levels are fully inhabited by these things. They get taken over at their performances like Beyonce say like these superstars superstar actors at the top levels get taken over by these things to do their performances brothers and sisters you are truly watching demons on, you know in a shell demons in a shell on TV Maybe not all of it, but the top ones in certain performances, those who are at the very top of singing and rapping and doing their thing on stage. It's time for a great change in all of our lives to get away from all of that. And put on the fullness of Hamashiach in your life. That you may be set apart walking around differently. Showing other people the true good news. Showing people the true way to walk in. You should light up a room everywhere you go. You should be set apart and different no matter where you go. But don't be like them rude, disrespectful dishonoring people and going off on them. Put away those ways and put on the new ways and study how Mashiach and his walk and study how the Kodeshim or what they call the apostles walk, brothers and sisters, and walk it out. For this is the last times. So endure to the end, brothers and sisters, by being a doer of the word, not a hearer only. And with that, I'm going to say shalom and tell me what you think 
in the comment section below. Give me a like and subscribe and share these videos. Shalom.